Alright, this is one of the tensioning elements for the twin camshafts. There's one of these things per bank. This happens to be the one for cylinder head 4 to 6. And it's an electromechanical device that its function is to change the timing uh, of the system by putting pressure on the, the timing chains and physically changes the position of the camshafts. Uh, pretty simple but clever device. Um, I've got 9632 installed, this left hand screw, which is holding these two slide rails together in the tensioning element so that it can be removed and installed. And uh, what I'm most interested in looking at here are the actual slide rails themselves. These are pretty worn. You can see these grooves that have been cut into the slide rails from the many miles of use. There's one on the top and one on the bottom. These uh, just simply come right off. They kind of snap on. Pretty simple to remove. This one has an O-ring under it. As you can see, this particular slide rail has a couple of holes in it in the center there. It allows oil to pass through and there's a, uh, a sealing O-ring. So we're going to clean these up and just snap on some new ones. Porsche sells these in a kit that includes both of the slide rails as well as the O-ring. And um, these are pretty simple to install. So here is the one that goes on the top with the two, the two holes in it where the O-ring goes and the one for the bottom. Okay, so we just take the O-ring, pop it into the slide rail. I also like to take a little bit of oil, just lightly oil that. This one snaps on the top here. So there's the new slide rail for the top. And then the one for the bottom just snaps right in, just like so. All right, so this guy's ready to go. This screw stays in place until uh, well after the camshaft assembly has been dropped into the cylinder head. Okay, so what's up here next is camshaft allocation. Here I've got the camshafts for cylinder head 4 to 6 with the intake camshaft right here and the one for the exhaust right here. I've already done the allocation for 1 to 3 as that cylinder head's already installed but the procedure here is essentially identical. So the idea here is that um, you want to locate the little dot that's on the sprocket. Make sure it's facing upward. You can see it right there. That one's facing upward. And there's also one for exhaust camshaft located right here. And um, for four to six, this notch is facing downward. In one to three, it would be facing upward. So that's the first step. All right, the next simple step is to install the chain. I have a new chain here. And um, what we want to do is take a look at this. Now the new chain may or may not come with colored links and that is two of the links on here are supposed to be marked but not always and if we look at the old one I'll show you what I'm talking about um, if you look very carefully here you can see this one right here and this one right here uh, are slightly an off color from the other links this is important um, to know the number of links in between. It's actually seven. So if I start with this one and I count over, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's number seven. This is important for proper position of the chain on the camshaft. So what I'm going to do here, 
I'm just going to take a sharpie, a sharpie marker. There's nothing special about the marked links, by the way. Um, and I'm just going to mark one of these, like so, and then I'm going to count over seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to mark that one. So the idea here is that uh, we're going to put these on the camshafts next and align those marks with the two dots. Okay, we're going to install the chain now. Quite simply. We go over one camshaft and the other. We want to locate the two marks. Are seven links apart right there okay okay I want to install the tensioning element now to do this I like to move it the uh, camshafts and change the edge of the bench like so just so that the there can be a little bit of play in the bottom of the chain here just easier it's just easier to install this but it's still not the easiest thing all right so this just kind of slips in between the two like that there we go. Tensioning element is installed. Basic position. And uh, that's basic camshaft allocation.